Uh, on the next page, on page 78, there are examples of foods. So, copy the chart into your exercise book, write the name of each food item in instead of drawing the pictures. Use the words in the word bank. This is the instruction. So, please take out your exercise book and read the instruction on page 79 and replace the pictures with words. Here is a picture, here is the picture, here it is another picture. How many pictures? One, two, three, four, five, and six pictures are given. So instead of using the picture, use the word. Try to replace the pictures with the words. For any sons, let me do the first one as an example. There is a picture. Blanks are good. So, what could be the word that can replace this picture? This is a picture. Blanks are good. Blanks are good. So, which is the word that can replace this picture from the word bank? Word bank. List of words are given like meat, eggs, carrots, potatoes, bread, and cabbage. These are list of foods given. So this is word bank. Word bank. So choose one of the words from this one and replace the picture. Blanks are good. So is, is it meat? Is it eggs? Is it carrots? Is it potatoes? Bread or cabbage? That replace the first picture. Can you try? Please try and tell for your family member. So the first in the first blank carrots. Carrots. Carrots should be used. Carrots are good. So is some. So is some second picture. So is some meat. You know the picture, the second picture is meat. A blank is tasty. A blank is tasty. So from this those word list, from this word list, for the word that can replace the third picture, this one, it has a green color and it, it's a vegetable and it's important for health. It is cabbage. Cabbage. The fourth one. But not on my feet. Blanks are good. Look, the fourth picture. The fourth picture. Two foot are given. So the word that can replace this one is which one? Is it meat? Is it eggs? Carrots? Potatoes? Bread or cabbage? It's eggs. Eggs. The other, the other two pictures are given for you. Please write down the name of this, this picture by using one of the words from the word bank and the next one in your exercise book. Thank you. The next one is about numbers. It's on page 81. Page 81 about numbers. You know, uh, we use numbers especially when we want to tell the amount or the quantity of something, we use numbers. So numbers are labeled from one up to infinity. So we'll practice naming numbers from one up to 100. So please take out your book on page 81 and 82. There are lists of numbers like one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and so on. Please try to practice numbers in ascending and descending order in backward and forward. Practice naming numbers like one, two, three, up to hundred. Okay, let's practice about numbers. So numbers, especially counting numbers, counting numbers, numbers which are used to count, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and up to infinity. You know, we count different items starting from one. Especially we count counting nouns. Counting nouns. Counting nouns are nouns which can be counted like one, two, three, and four. So when we count numbers, we can use figure or we can use a, num a word or words can be used. We may use figure or we can use a word. For example, this one is the figure. The word is one. It's written like this. O and E. Two. This is a figure and it's written like this. Two. Three. This one is the figure. Three. Three. In what? This is four. This four is written in word like this. Four. Again, other number like five is written. Five. This one is written like this. Six. Like this. This one is seven. It's written like this. Eight. The number eight is written like this. Eight. It's nine. The number nine is written like this. And the last 10 is written like this. So just try to practice to write numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And it goes like this. So we can just write numbers in figure as well as using a word. These are examples. So try the end number is not known. The end number is not known. So try to practice writing numbers in figure as well as in, in a word. These are some examples that I give for you. So in your book there are numbers from 1 up to 99. Please practice by calling the number from 1 up to 99 and in the reverse from like 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 96, 93, 92, 91, 90, 89, 88, 87, and come to number one. This one is backward. Forward reading like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and it goes 
So please practice to call numbers up to 100. This is what I have for you about numbers. So numbers are used to tell the how much or how many of something, like one, two, three, four, and so on. So please practice on your book on page 83, as well as there are exercises on page 84. Now I'm going to read a dialogue for you. So in this dialogue, you will see about name of foods as well as numbers. We want some eggs, please. How many eggs do you want? We want 12 eggs, please. Here you are. Thank you. We want some cabbage and corn, too, please. How many? We want two cabbage and six ears of corn, please. Here you are. That will be 20 bird, please. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Please come back again. This dialogue is taken from your exercise book, page 85. So this dialogue is between shopkeeper and test food. You know, when we going to shop or going to market, we use these words. For instance, name of foods are given like eggs. Uh, again, other cabbage. Uh, corn, these are the name of the food that we can get from this dialogue. We want some eggs, please. Eggs is name of a food. How many eggs do you have? Do you want? This one is said by the shopkeeper. We want to thank you. Please practice the dialogue with, with your sister or brother at home and try to underline the name of foods found in the dialogue. Thank you. Asquala. لجون ببيتو يمياستم روبت عمارج فيلم عدد ديس فيلمو تشاچن اندي درسو سبسكرايب بمارج يا چانالا چن بيتسابي هونو فيلمو تشون شير بمارج لو دايزمدو يا قارو اسكوالا عمارج يمياستم عريا زدي